Very often you want to create an automatic backup of your access database at certain times because sometimes things go bad in your database and you always have a backup let's say every day or every half day. You can do so by using macros and access VBA. So how do we back up tables and or queries from an existing database? I used a very simple one that has only three tables, no queries, but for queries you would do something similar. So we create a subroutine in VBA. I called it backup. I declared a variable of the date type. I ask through an input box, at what time do you want to create a backup? For this uh, example, I just used the current time plus five seconds later. But in real life, you probably want to say time value 12 colon zero zero colon zero zero. So it will always do that at 12 o'clock. If someone clicks on the cancel button, uh, there will be a problem because the input box returns nothing to D time. So if there is an error, resume next and go to the next line after d time equals. If the error number is not zero, that means there was an error, then exit the sub. Then we are going to loop until the time is over, until that time has been reached. Do until the current time equals the d time value. It, it might be better to say greater than equals d time, for it may sometimes not exactly hit that time. Uh, loop. What do you do inside the loop? Nothing, but you have to put a do events command line there, otherwise you cannot do anything else on your system, because the system says I am busy looping. So do events yields execution to other processes on your computer. And then when that time has, re has been reached, I put a message box there, time to create a backup. In real life you probably would not do that because you have to click OK on that box. We need to do more in that subroutine. After what we did before, we want to create a new database in the same folder. So I declare a variable of the string type an object type variable of the DAO.database type. DAO stands for Data Access Objects, which, is, which covers access databases. We store in S file the path of the current project. So I have the same folder as where my database is located. I add to that a backslash and the name of my new file, .mdb or more specifically for 2007, 10 and 13, dot .accdb. If you do dot .mdb, it can be used in older versions. And I put a date in there, today's date, in a format of one digit for the month, one digit for the day, two digits for the year. So every day I will have a different database backup. I check if that file exists already, because you happen to do this twice on the same day, then the dir function will give you either a non-existing value, if that's the case, if it's not non-existing, that means that S file exists already, then kill that file, S file. Then we have to create a new database. We use the database engine object, then its workspaces collection, the first elements, which is zero, that's the one we are probably working in, and we create a database with the S file name, and DB language general means that is the, the for instance, the English version, you can also specify DB language, Chinese, etc. O database close, that new one, it has been created. We are going to put in that database all our tables, queries, etc. Copy the tables and or the queries in that same sub, so we keep going. 
I declare a, a object type variable of the table definition type. You maybe also want to do one of the query definition type. I will not do that, but it's the same idea. We loop with a for each loop through all the table definitions in the current database or all the query definitions in the current database. We use that OTD variable. It does that automatically in a for each loop. It starts at the first one and it ends automatically at the last table definition. Unfortunately, there are many more table definitions than you created yourself. Microsoft creates its own tables for a lot of tasks. And they are called M, S, Y, S, and then something else. So I want to make sure that I do not copy those. Maybe you want to. That's fine. Go ahead. If you don't want to copy those, then take the left of the OTD name, the first four characters. If that is not M, S, Sys, then we are going to copy that object with the do command. Command copy the object. S file of the access table type with the name OTD name. You can also use the do command transfer database. Then you would use these arguments. It's a little more extensive. Uh, the process could take quite a while. So I put the hourglass icon on and don't forget to turn it back off. You probably don't have to do this for a regular database unless you have a lot of table definitions and a lot of query definitions in, and it could take a while. And we tell at the end the backup has been stored in the same folder as where your current database is. Now, how do we make this thing kick in automatically? We need a little more VBA code and we need a macro to make sure that the backup kicks in automatically when I open the database at a certain time. We declare a function in VBA run sub open close parentheses. We call that backup subroutine that we mentioned before, that we created before, and close your function one. M make sure it is a function and not a sub, like backup was a subroutine. This has to be a function. Why? I will explain that soon. Once we have that VBA function implemented, we need to create a macro. Create macro. And in the macro, we are going to use the action run code. Run sub. The function name run sub. That is the function run sub that we have created in VBA. Notice it has to be a function. So it is that guy from up there. And please do not forget to include the parentheses because this is a function you need open and close parentheses. Once we have created that macro, we save it with a specific name auto exec to execute that's what it stands for. That kind of macros is automatically executed when you open the database. So we have VBA code and we have a macro with a run code action based on the function run sub open close parentheses. Save it as an auto executable macro and you will see in your database in the left panel not only do you have three tables, you also have a macro auto execute and you have a module with your VBA code. When we open this database, it automatically runs that auto execute macro. So it opens your database and it automatically asks you when do you want to create a backup. I did five minutes later than when I. So it is going to automatically store in your folder, in the same folder as where your database was, 73013, that's when I created this file. And when you open that thing, it is an exact replica with the same tables as your original database. And it was created on that date. Tomorrow it will be 731 and then August 1, etc., etc., etc. You want to know much more about Access VBA. I created a CD-ROM for you with a huge array 
of items. In part one, it discusses these issues. And it does that very extensively with many examples. It has also interaction with you. So it asks you each time that you get what we did so far. In part two, these are the issues that will be discussed. In part three, more advanced issues. It has more than 1400 slides. So it's a very rich source for you to learn at your own pace. Where can you find all of this? At MrExcel.com or Amazon.com and just type my name Gerard Verschuren in the search box and you will find all the tools, the books and the CDs that I developed for you. I wish you good luck.